Okay. Guys, so uh, to start a new vlog today, it is Saturday and we are headed to the Gladys Porter Zoo, which is a zoo that's very close by to where we live. So I'm um, here with Maddie. We just had breakfast. I kind of showed you a little clip. So we're on our way to the zoo. Oh, I'm riding in the back. Work. We are with my sister and my brother-in-law who are joining us to the zoo. Hey, darling. Can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Hey, darling. We could get out of town. See the beautiful world around, want to see it now Pack our bags and get in that car Leave a little note and we'll drive real far Let's get out, we can leave this city Let's drive to the open air Yeah, the countryside is so pretty
silverback, right? Well, yeah. <laughs> Look at this one lady on the... Can you swing. He's thinking road. about it. Am I gonna swing? Am I not gonna swing? Go for it. Go, go for it. Yeah. He's gonna swing. There he goes. Oh! oh I'm a plane. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. Hi. Hey. Well, that was fun. At the sour shop, that little like Sarah's keychains. Right? Y'all can take out each other's keychain and go like that. <laughs> what do you think, Mike? Jonas is gonna eat all by himself. <laughs> Ready? We're trying to say it. You got both to say this is a before picture. <laughs> Alright, so Mike, we're gonna go. Yeah. yeah. We are home and um, we are about to leave back home. We were here at the house for a few hours and uh, we're about to go into town. In the darkness when I'm stumbling And I don't know what to do that you can choose from various types of salsas. This is our cat. She's an outdoor kitty cat because she likes being outside. But she likes to get petted through the window. When we were outside and we tried to pet her, she doesn't really like to be pet. And um, But she loves coming to our window and when we pet her through the window, she will uh, lean her her face towards our hand like if we're she's actually getting petted in, in um, You know by being touched. It's really cute here. It was acting up right now He started jumping on the couch when she he's not allowed to and he was just running around Acting a fool right Bingley you acting a fool You see she likes to get pet Kitty And Bingley's so jealous. Oh, <coughs> kitty. <coughs> what are you doing? Good morning, guys. This is Nora. I am starting this Sunday morning. Just got ready. We're headed off to church. And um, I'm going to be vlogging just the weekend. I started off yesterday and then today. That way it doesn't become like a very long video. But let's see what happens today. There's not much plans other than going to church. And then from there, we usually go have lunch. And then what else comes up? But I'm going to share with you um, just what I do. Hopefully, you, st you guys are enjoying these type of videos. And uh, if you do, give it a thumbs up or give it a, a like. And thank you so much for watching. Let's continue with on with the day. It's, it's Sunday afternoon. We're actually more like evening towards evening already uh, and I'm starting a lasagna and I am um, boiling my water have my noodles ready and then I have a pound of Italian sausage and a pound of ground beef uh, cooking I just went ahead and mixed my ricotta with cheese Parmesan cheese with mozzarella cheese with I also added uh, parsley pepper salt not salt, I'm sorry, not salt. Two eggs and um, a little bit of garlic powder as well. So this is going to be the cheese that I will be adding. I'll also add more cheese to the layers. Uh, the way, last time when I made it, I used this Parmesan cheese here that I get from Walmart, this big bag here of mozzarella cheese. And then I also get the Parmesan cheese. So I'm gonna be layering um, this. 
my marinara sauce, adding more cheese, um, adding some more cheese to the uh, layers, and then until I get like a thick, or fill up the pan with um, all the layers that will fit. So yeah, right now I'm just here. I went ahead and lit a candle that I, that my sister had gotten me, uh, and I had not lit it up. I had it in my room, I'm like, well, you know, I need to light these candles up because it's such a beautiful candle and it smells really good, like strawberry. And right now I'm trying to, I've been hearing a lot about this Nancy Myers aesthetic and it's basically just making your home really cozy, making yourself uh, feel cozy. And so the lighting and the candle and this whole lasagna has given me all the vibes. Um, to be honest, I've only seen probably a couple movies of hers. But after hearing so much about Nancy Myers' aesthetics, aesthetics, I started looking into what that meant. And basically, it's just a very uh, cozy vibe kitchens with all sorts of, you know, books and candles and things like that. So I don't know. If, I'm not going to obviously follow it to the T, but I, I like the concept of it, making a home feel lived in cozy and so that's why I turned on this lamp I'm like you know what? I'm gonna turn the lamp on I'm gonna light this candle make it feel cozy in here I ordered some more cookbooks I have a few cookbooks let me show you cookbooks here I have one of the magnolia table but I went ahead and ordered more of the two other magnolia table cookbooks that I found on Amazon one of them I've got I had some extra points uh, I have my Amazon card so I do get earn points towards our purchases so I went ahead and got one with points and then another one that I found on eBay for six dollars free shipping so that way I can add some more books um, to style I like that the look of books being here um, so I do have to lay the books um, flat and not standing because these shelves are not big enough for standing books but I think this still looks good there's a lot of stuff that's not books down there that I need to organize it tends to become a catch-all to small things like for example my husband's vitamins and when we keep medicine when somebody is down with um, a cold we'll sometimes put Dayquil there because I mean it's still meant to be used right so I don't mind having like a few other things that are not cookbooks but I just don't want it to look start looking very clutter, uh, cluttered as well so that's why I'm gonna have to, I go have to go in there and see what I can um, take out of there and uh, organize a little bit more. So here we have the ground beef and sausage. And uh, finally, make sure that the, the ground and the sausage are finally grounded, meaning that there's no big chunks. I don't like big chunks. Um, that's just the way it's. So I use that meat chopper that I have and I just went through it uh, to make sure that everything is nice and uh, grounded. Added a few onions on there and there have been, they are already getting translucent so that means that we're about to get ready to add our sauce and the sauce that I will be using is this Prego marinara sauce. I'll use two, two jars and like I said it was about a pound of, of Italian sausage and then a, about a pound of ground beef. Maybe a little bit more ground beef because I just went cut half of the um, the little uh, tube that they come in. And so I went ahead and added the lasagna already here. I'm just kind of stirring it a bit so it doesn't get stuck. And I always add a little bit of oil to also help it not to get um, stuck, or not stuck, but stick to each other, right? And then um, added some salt as well. And I, I'm preheating my oven to 350. So right now, I'm gonna go ahead and um, start layering in a bit. To share how I layer before I forget. So basically, I start off by putting a layer of meat. Then I put my noodles. And then I put a thin layer of ricotta cheese, a little sprinkle of Parmesan, and a little bit of mozzarella. I originally already had added mozzarella to the ricotta. I don't follow the instructions completely. The instructions to say is to put three cups of Parmesan, which I could should have tried because basically it's already including the cheese and the ricotta. 
That way you don't have to uh, add the cheese, you know, more cheese. But I like actually like separating them both, in my opinion. So I went ahead and added the Parmesan, then add the mozzarella. Let me show you how I do that. So it's just like a handful, just like a thin layer. I don't want to, like, overdo it. And I need a little bit more. So on this side. And then I'll go ahead and do my probably either one or two more layers. I already went ahead and put two layers here of noodles. So I still have a lot of pasta left over. And I have a little bit of ricotta, but I still have more in the jar. I just didn't think of making it all because I thought maybe I was going to have enough. But I might have to um, go ahead and make the other half, which is really easy. It's just, it said called for a 16 ounce jar of ricotta, but I have a 32 ounce, so I only got half of it. You add two eggs and you add, I think I already said this, but in case I'm repeating with two eggs, um, you add parsley, salt to the mixture, and, um, and I added a little bit of Parmesan and mozzarella as well. I just didn't, I went ahead and added more to the top instead, like I mentioned right now. I broiled it at the end, but you're supposed to bake it for about 45 to 50 minutes. And that's it. It was actually pretty good. You picked your carnic once, but she picked my car twice. <laughs> Is that true, Bingley? For the freeloaders of America? But there could be, no, not our like, um, like, um, Hi, kitty. I'm warming up to her because she let me pet her right now. We noticed that she lets me pet her, but when Jonas went to reach for her to pet her, she pushed quickly, uh, walked away. So I think she's more uh, trusting of me <laughs> than Jonas, and Jonas loves her. He loves, uh, she is a daughter of a cat that lasted us. She was with us for about 12 years, 12, 13 years. We lost her a few months ago. And um, she was also an outdoor cat. And we had named her, or ne we never named her, but we called her Kitty Cat. And that just became her name, Kitty Cat. So this cat here, we named her Kitty Witty because it rhymes <laughs> kitty witty so uh we kept the kitty part because uh, we just wanted to um continue that i don't know um and so her mom she lasted us for about 12 years and uh she was getting old and we kind of figured that you know her time would be coming soon and she actually um just dis disappeared and i think because she's older she went to go find a resting place and and we weren't able ever to find her, so we were sad about that. But Kitty Witty, um, she stayed with us, and um, we made sure to spade her. Is spade, is it spade or neuter? No, it's spade, I think. Spade her so she lives more comfortably and not, you know, having litters. And the reason why we never um, spayed Kitty Cat, which is a cat before, was because... Um, we had her, it was, she was a, we had her for a while, right? And then finally when we decided, hey, maybe we should spade her, um, they had told us that she was just too old and that we would be risking having surgery on her for that and that she might not be able to make it. And so from that point, we're just like, no, she let her just live whatever, um, year she has. And she did produce that cat right there, Kitty Kitty Weedy and that one we did spade her right away. So she just spends her days uh, out here loving the uh, being outside and uh, she loves going near Bingley. She loves Bingley. I don't know why. Bella, if he, she gets near Bella, Bella will uh, push back or she will like, she's really cautious when no, no one, she doesn't really like to be touched by the cats. Guys, um, like I mentioned, it is Monday morning, and Miyadi and I are headed to the movies today. She she has been asking to go to the movies uh, during the day, because usually when we do go to the movies, it's in the weekend with Jonas, 
but she had been wanting to go to the movies just um, during the daytime. And so we are going to go watch Fly Me to the Moon. And my sister, I think, and my mom are joining us. So right now we're just waiting for a little bit close to 9 o'clock. So the movie's around 9.30. That way we can uh, drive out that way. It's only like 15 minutes, 10, 15 minutes away. So uh, we don't have to leave too early. And we are going to have our snacks delivered to us. So um, right now we're going to do that. I asked her if she wanted breakfast and she said no. We're going to get eat popcorn. But I mean, I know that's not breakfast. But I guess she doesn't want to eat anything before then. So we'll just uh, eat that and then we'll have lunch afterwards. We're here in the restroom. We're watching uh, Play Me to the Moon. And it's so far a good movie. We came for, to, I mean, came to Hobby Lobby real quick. And we're looking at their clearance. I'm here with my Maddie and my two sisters. This is a clearance, seventy-five percent off. You're short on ears. And Maddie's just putting stuff in the cart right now. And she, that's because she didn't want to come and look at her. She has Spider-Man things and Star Wars. That's Star Wars friends Well, one of them is yours. But look at this lamp for thirty-four ninety-nine. This lamp is also really nice. $29.99 from $119 originally. It's like the natural color. Okay, with Jonas here really quickly. He's looking at a potential job that he uh, might do. And I are just here waiting for him because we are going to go have dinner afterwards. I didn't put any makeup today. I just put some lip gloss right now because I just didn't want to look all... <laughs> sad I'm just playing but uh so we came over here into town and right now we'll see what we go on and eat so that's what we chose which is tacos yummy <laughs> footage already because we did go to the zoo and you guys have already watched that but um today we're gonna head it to the park maddie's joining a friend a school friend over there and i'm gonna bring pizzas so i might not vlog too much because i'm gonna respect everybody and you know and not be recording people <laughs> maddie says that i'm that's rude and i agree it's rude There's this dog that reminds us of, well, not so much of Bingley, but it looks like a, could be some sort of a doodle. She has a litter, cause, but uh, somewhere, I don't know where she's from. She doesn't have a collar, but she looks like she's hungry, poor thing. Um, she's there with her friend without getting too close up, but she's over there with her friend. Her mom went to go find ice because we brought pizza and she was going to bring the drinks but she couldn't find ice so we're going to wait for her mom to come back with some ice and uh, I'll tell them, I'll watch them from here as they go and enjoy. Hey guys, so I kind of wanted to come in here really quickly and going to be, be, what's that word, transparent, be truth about you see me living my life and I'm pushing to be positive, to be good, but I have been dealing with anxiety lately 
and uh, so I don't want to always pretend like everything is just perfect <laughs> you see me shushing the flies and so a lot of these times where I make an effort to come here with Maddie come here and do stuff I am sort of pushing myself and I am you know choosing to do to, to live life the best that I can and do it for her as well even when I'm not feeling my best, even when I'm struggling with anxiety and thoughts and things like that. Um, it's a season, I believe 2024 just threw this on me. I mean, I have dealt with anxiety before, but I feel like this time around, it's kind of been a little bit more intense. And, um, and I am seeing a therapist to help me out with that. So just wanted to be transparent, but also I know that this can also maybe um, speak to somebody like who's also struggling that you're not alone. It might seem like sometimes we live perfect YouTube lives, you know, sharing our best moments, but the reality is that um, we all struggle. We all have our moments and it's okay. It's okay to feel that way. It's okay to fight. It's okay to, to live life even when we're struggling. Playing some, uh, what are those called? Skull Skull or something like that. They have an outdoor little music section. There's a little poster. Hey guys, it's Tuesday um, after the park. We came back home, and right now we just uh, started making dinner kind of late because Jonas uh, he had. Um, he poured concrete today, so he usually tends to work a little bit later. And look at what we're making. We're making grilled hamburgers. And uh, Jonas was doing this, and then I told him, you know what, go ahead and take, go take a shower. and Because um, he came straight to make them since it was a little bit late. And I told him that I would take care of it while he goes and showers. So that's what we're making tonight. And they look so yummy. We have been loving this gas, and I'm sorry, propane uh, grill. It's been coming in so handy uh, because we get to uh, just turn the, the flame on and we don't have to wait for charcoal to heat up and all that. So it's been coming out very, very handy and the food comes out tasting so delicious still. Um, so we've really been enjoying our grill, or Jonas's grill, <laughs> but um, it's a good grill. Right now I have Bingley and Bella with me. They're outside. And I just made some french fries inside. We'll add cheese when they're done. And I have, I have to toast the, the buns as well. Bingley, Bella, he was bullying kitty cat right now. So kitty cat's over there meowing. And look at, he's, he's Caesar, but he's being a little bully right now. And I stopped him, but he was going crazy, running around really fast. And what I mean, he bully, he go chases after her and then waits until she's cornered and then doesn't do anything, doesn't harm her or anything, but he likes to to make her feel like she's trapped. So he's being a bully. Look at those burgers, so cheesy. This is our favorite cheese, uh, the Kraft Deli Deluxe American. It's a sliced cheese that comes. This is our favorite cheese here to use. I went ahead and put cheese on these three and closed the, um, the lid so that with the heat they melt. So I'm about to do that with these. I think these are about done as well. They, these were a little bit thicker because we got some Angus burgers and these were from another from uh, fourth of july that we had left over so these were a little bit thinner and they were done a little bit faster but i think the angus ones you can see they're a little bit more thicker these are about done too jonas came out already and he said that one of them still needed more more cooking time so that's good that he came out and double checked 